In this PyInstaller tutorial, we'll discuss how to change the default icon generated by PyInstaller on the output file, the output .exe. It looks pretty bland and kind of, you know, it doesn't look very fancy. And when you're creating some kind of custom software, obviously you want to have your logo or something like that right there, right? You want to have an icon that looks special, customized to your application. So let's discuss how to do that. I have some icons right here, this little Android icon and this globe icon. So these are, these are just some samples. I'll leave a link in the description below. You guys can download a folder of icons that I have. Okay. And an another cool place to get icons is, is this website, Ico Converter. And you can upload any PNG or JPG image here and it'll resize it and generate an icon. Don't try, don't try to do something like, uh, renaming the extension okay it's not gonna work out it's gonna cause an error and it will most likely crash when you attempt to compile PyInstaller with it okay don't do that either use the ones I provide or use this website okay so what I'm gonna do here is just call this command that's all we need to do we just need to add in this icon command is equal to then the name of our icon now if your icon is in a different folder you can go ahead and write the whole file path here otherwise if it's in the same if you're calling this command uh, and the python file this right here add icon and the icon over here that we're going to add they're both in the same folder okay and we're calling the command from that folder so i'm just gonna pass in the name okay no need to include the full file path I'm going to now write add icon.py. Okay, that's the name of our Python file. Hit enter. And now it's just going to compile. Okay, this shouldn't take longer than 30 seconds. Let's just open up our folder over here in the meantime. Okay. And okay, so it's done. Go to dist, add icon. That's the name of our folder that was just generated. And now look at this, the default icon is still there. I know that's kind of weird, but there's this little bug on Windows that happens sometimes. And what you need to do is copy this. I'm on Windows 11, by the way. Just copy this, okay, and paste it over here. All right, and then you can see the icon. There's some kind of issue with the uh, icon cache in Windows. Okay, just delete the old one and then rename this. Oops, uh, I pressed it by accident, but yeah. We can see our file running over there as well. And then just there, rename it. Oh, uh, this is a really annoying issue that happens sometimes with Windows. Uh, let me just try something. Let me try running this command. I think it's for refreshing the cache. Whoops, didn't work out. All right, copy it over here. Let's try deleting this one and bringing it back no that did not work okay let's see if we can i mean we can already you know just duplicate the folder or something over here i guess and resolve that problem but there has to be a way to resolve this okay, if i do this ah there we go all right so just duplicate the folder if anyone figures out a better solution just let me know Okay, otherwise this is how you do it okay and yeah people on ubuntu and linux shouldn't face this issue hopefully or mac so yeah 